Welcome to False Prophecy Watch. I don't know whether or not you folks have been keeping up, but we've got a new hot prophecy going around the internet these days. Um, and this one comes from Rody D61169. According to him, the rapture is tomorrow. That's July 11th, 2017. He says he's got it on revelation from God that the rapture is in fact going down tomorrow. Be there or be square. Awesome. We're out of here. We're gone tomorrow. Uh, tomorrow, probably tomorrow night. Um, I had so many confirmations over confirmations over confirmations. For the people, for the naysayers, uh, for the trollers, uh, for the people that... Uh, no, 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 no one knows the day nor the hour. You better be ready by tomorrow because you're going to be left behind. That's right. You heard it here, folks. He is telling us that in, it looks like less than 24 hours, we could be looking at the rapture of the church of the Lord Jesus Christ. Taking a look at his stats via Social Blade, we can see that he has gained upwards of 625 subscribers in the last 30 days. In that period, of course, he's uh, prophesied the rapture falsely several times. His predictions have come back goose eggs. But once again, Rody says that he's got it on revelation from God that the rapture is in fact going down tomorrow. July 11th is the rapture of the church. The Lord is coming for his people. And the boarding time had been announced exactly according to the scriptures. I mean, the Lord showed me. You don't understand. The Lord showed me I was chosen for this. You need to wake up and smell the coffee. Because the Lord is coming on the 11th. And um, if you think that, that you know, that still that nobody knows the day or, nor the hour, you better wake up on that one. That, that thing expired. We know it now, and we know it well. If you don't understand this now, I, what can I do for you? The fact is, the Lord has brought uh, this revelation. Uh, he has used me. You know, it has pleased the Lord to, to reveal all this to me. The Lord is at the door, and He's coming in a matter of only a few days. July 11th, World War III. Is breaking down this Nineveh. The Lord told me Nineveh is going to get destroyed. This country is going to get destroyed, people. Destroyed. You heard it here. The rapture, according to Rody, is July 11th, 2017. So Rody says that this country is going to get destroyed and that we're looking at World War III. This is just tomorrow that he's talking about. The Lord is coming now. I'm making another great video about the rapture in July 11, 7 11. It is happening and it's no longer confirmations. It's full revelation, full, completely, of uh, the coming of the Lord. You hear that? Rody says it's no longer confirmation, it's full revelation. So that means he's got zero room to say, oh, I miscalculated my. My numbers didn't add up. You know, his Harold Camping thing and his numerology, he won't be able to rely on those as excuses. Because remember, this is a full revelation from God. So if the Lord does not show up tomorrow, Rody has some explaining to do. Speaking of explanations, here beneath this Terry Taplin video, I had a very public conversation with Rody in regards to his false prophecies. Gabrielle Adger stepped in to defend Rody, and you can see her comments right here. The interesting thing is after these comments, Rody himself chimed in. He let us know that in fact the rapture was going to happen that night at midnight. He told us that he'd received a confirmation via another brother in Christ in the UK. 
And he also told us that he'd received a word, which was Luke 12, verses 35 through 40. I disagreed with Rhodey on the interpretation of the word he got, because to me, the way that I understand Luke 12, verses 35 through 40, that says that we should stay ready because we don't know when the Lord is coming back. Long story short, I stayed up late, no rapture. I even shot a video, which you can see right here. So, Rhodey, what's up, man? What's what's going on with the rapture situation? Was I, like, left behind or, or what? Now, I've been waiting around because, according to Rhodey, the rapture was supposed to be at 12 a.m. tonight. But as you can see, it looks like I've either missed the rapture or Rhodey's message was false. The confirmations that he got were not solid confirmations. I do sort of have a question for Rhodey and the brother that he says received the confirmation dream. And that would be, did you test the spirits? And if so, how did you test the spirits? Because these confirmations are apparently very weak. According to Rhodey, he prophesied the rapture back in 2013, but that did not go so well, as the rapture ended up not happening that year. Rhodey says that God told him that he did not falsely prophesy because God granted the Nineveh pardon. Never having heard of the Nineveh pardon, of course, I questioned Rhodey and tried to explain that Jeremiah 18 and the book of Jonah explain what happened and why Jonah was not a false prophet. Long story short, Rhodey would have none of it. So after a series of failed prophecies within this past month, with pretty much each one resulting in Rhodey changing the predicted date on his videos, we arrive at July 11th, 2017. So tomorrow we're going to see, we're going to see whether or not Rhodey can somehow this time prove that he's actually a prophet because up until this point he's been failing miserably he's been failing hard so we're gonna see whether or not Rhodey can actually pass the test in Deuteronomy 18 tomorrow Rhodey's been receiving some support we had a lot of the the regulars come out we had our Blue Heaven come out and, and give him a pat on the back you know and support his date I think she may have even given her own you might want to check that out and be and be sure but uh yeah she definitely was going along with Rhodey we had Dwayne aka Swift Passage it's a very very swift passage we had him come out to support Rhodey he actually commended him for giving this prophecy not to be outdone by Blue Heaven and Swift Passage, we had the Rapture Kitty lend a little support. You can see she liked the prophecies for July 11th Rapture. That is essentially a recommendation from the Rapture Kitty to her followers that they should go check out Rhodey and believe his Rapture date set for July 11th, 2017. In Team Rapture Kitty's camp, we've got Pulse62. You can see here, he uh, not only did he go along with the July 11th, 2017 Rhodey prophecy, but he made his own. You guys remember Pulse62, right? He's the guy that maintained that... What was that guy's name? Voith. He said, Stephen Voith is Jehovah in the flesh. Or disguise. Of course, the problem with that is that Stephen Voith is a Hare Krishna practitioner. So, I don't know about Mr. Pulse's prophecy. 
And we also had Redeemed 44 lending his support by way of commendation to Rhodey for making this prophecy, as you can see in his video and by looking at the comments beneath it. And here we've got another name to add to the list of Rhodey supporters. Sonia Beatty Sharp. It looks like she also will not be outdone. She's giving her own prophecy of July 11th, 2017. And she says that she is not guessing. So according to her, this is a done deal. This is going down. Here we've got another name for the July 11th, 2017 list of prophets. This man is called, let's see, The Game Keeper. And this video was published July 6th, 2017. So I actually watched this video. He seems a little bit paranoid, but hmm. let's just see if his prophecy pans out. And here we see support lended to Rhodey and the July 11th, 2017 prophecy, this time coming from G-Man. According to him, this thing is going down. He's been in communication with the Holy Spirit. Let's see here. I've had multiple confirmations tonight from the Holy Ghost that we go on the 11th. It's guaranteed 100%, so get excited and I will see you on Tuesday. God bless. I found this interesting comment on the interwebs. I think it was beneath one of Rhodey's videos. Let's see, four days ago he said that God told him that he was Jonah. So, I guess that means that Rhodey is supposed to be a type of Jonah. Of course, Jonah was a biblical prophet who did not prophesy falsely so we're gonna see how this thing pans out tomorrow Rhodey's got till I don't know maybe we should give him like extra days right I don't how does this work can can he miss is he allowed to get it wrong and still be Jonah if Rhodey's prophecy fails should the church pat him on the back and say you'll get him next time or should we, in fact, mark this man 